far. 16 to 3 is the team score. The Hawkeyes over the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Now we go to 150. You'd figure this ought to be a terrific match. Heffernan has been in a bit of a slump, wouldn't you say, Chuck, lately? He's lost a few. Yes, he has, and he's lost them close, but he's been in a little bit of a slump. Now, he's a regular 150-pounder wrestling Scove, who's a regular 142-pounder. He ought to be slightly bigger, you'd think. I would think that he should uh, be able to execute some of the power moves against Scove. Well, you talk about four-time state champions. We've had a lot of them in Iowa. But Luke Scove is a four-time high school title holder. Some people said he's the best wrestler ever to come out of New Jersey. He won four titles there. Heffernan's about that ability out of Ohio, isn't he? Yes. Very effective. Two titles. Now he's wrestling wide open right now. You know, we haven't seen him wrestle this aggressive. Some of the other matches have been on TV. 150 of Carver Hawkeye Arena on Iowa Public Television. Same night coverage. It's the Cowboys and the Hawkeyes, and it's been the Hawkeyes so far. I think they remember what happened down in Stillwater last year, don't you? That's a tough place to wrestle. It's no tougher than here, I'd say. Heffernan, two. Well, that was a real nice snap down on Scove's penetrating shot where he got a little out of position, but Heffernan just countered him very nicely and snapped him down, spun him behind. Two to one on the escape. We've had a lot of scoring tonight in at least two of these matches. Davis win over Stevens and Dresser over Bailey. And Thanks, pardon sir. me if my scorekeeping doesn't always keep up with yours because uh, every time I look at the scoreboard, somebody else scores. Makes it exciting to watch for the fan. And there he is in deep on a double. Now, you got to watch the edge here. If he goes over there with his knee, he's going to be called off. But he's carrying the action to scope. There's Barry Davis. Reminder that after 150, we'll have an intermission and meet Greg Randall, who uh, won by default tonight over John Smith. We'll meet him off the mat. This is a very impressive match for Heffernan. We've seen him look like this in the past, and he was wrestling like this early in the year. But he just, as you said, has kind of been in a slump. And now he's got Scove from Oklahoma State called for stalling. Outside single by Heffernan, lost it, carried on out of bounds. The Scove family has been a very fine wrestling family. I know there's Jude Scove at Ohio State right now, nationally yeah, there's, ranked. There's Matt Scove that used to wrestle down in the south and then transferred. There's been four boys in that family. And a girl who's a, who's a referee, a sister who's a wrestling referee. Now he's got him in that front headlock again now. Got the elbow up, and now he's lost the head to come back un in on the underhead. Heffernan has just looked very impressive, Doug. Overpowering, you know, uh, very aggressive. 150, he looks like his old self, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I'm sure Coach Gable is, is very pleased with his performance. Went after the double. Win or lose, you know, if you can get athletes that have talent to wrestle this aggressively, it's not going to be very long before nobody can beat him because they just are overpowering. Sort of Barry Davis, Jim right. Zaleski type of attitude. Just been aggressive. Two good athletes at work here. One move is countered by the other wrestler's move, is countered by somebody else's, and back and forth. Very, very good. That's fun to watch this. You know, yeah, you it is. It's Luke Scove on the left. Stalling on him. Three to one, that's a penalty. Heffernan blocked Stove's duck under right at the end of the period. And in the first period, it was Heffernan, three to one. The coaches, the coaches from Oklahoma State want Scove to keep the pressure on Heffernan. They feel that Heffernan may not be able to stay with this kind of intensity. Heffernan was redshirted last year. Came back on a tour this season and started out ranked number one, really tough. And then, as we said, it's been a little bit of a slump lately. But he's ahead here, four to one. I guess Skull. This is no slump and this is no fluke. He's wrestling very well. Skove tried to get in, but underhooked by Heffernan. Heffernan stopped him a couple of times from those duck-unders with underhooks. 
And see, uh, what's happened now is that for just here a brief moment as Scove started to put generate the offense, Heffern needs to do what he did right there, get back on the offense himself. Go back to the single leg. Very right. Okay. No takedown yet because the Wizards still there. That overhook on the arm by Scove has protected him here. The hip lock, the here it's sometimes hot. called. There he's got, he let go of the wizard. Heffern still doesn't have the takedown. He's in position, he just has to cover the hip on the far side. This is good athletic talent, Doug. Lesser, lesser athletes would be taken down now. I think he's in position now if he can just get his head cleared. Starting to he's crawl on the right. Not quite. Still the wizard. Scope still has it now. The limp arm is out. Six to one Heffernan. Took a long time, but he they got it. He worked hard for that. Very yeah. hard for that. Both athletes. Scove now down by five. Well, he's not used to being down that far either. Big A champion, fifth in the Nationals last year. And only a junior. He's from Long Branch, but that's not Long Branch in the West. That's Long Branch, New Jersey. Oscov's out, 6-2. He's only had two escapes, though, and Heffernan has had two takedowns. And that'll tell you the difference so far. Iowa 17, Oklahoma State 3. Did I tell you 16 a while ago? 17. It's interesting to watch the intensity of the match and you know, see how the athletes participate. And stay on the offense, stay on the defense, attack, counterattack. Sort of the aesthetics of the sport. Heffernan, there's Ed Bannock, Olympic gold medalist. And uh, his name has been mentioned too at Iowa State. He put his, he threw his hat in the ring. There's gonna be a lot of hats in the ring before you that's bet. over. There's Dan Gable. Maybe his hat will be in the ring. Well, new challenge. Dan Gable. The coach of this team that is really ready to go tonight. Iowa leads 17 to three over Oklahoma State and leads in the match at 150. Heffernan was up 6-2, now it's 6-3. We just kind of cut him loose on purpose there with that little stand on the head, hips out maneuver. It's back on the offense. That's what will be interesting to watch. Who will go with the offensive? Uh, Gable came out to the edge of the mat, says, don't do that, Jim. Get him, get him. So he wants him to go back enough. He started fast and was doing a great job, and he still is. But it uh, slowed down a little bit. I'm yeah. sure fatigue is part of that. Scove made the last couple of shots. Heffernan had to block. And Scove made another one. He's got to be able to get past that ammunition of Heffernan's, which is his power. Heffernan was warned in there. Slid too. on off the mat. That's Joe C. telling his man to go same way. Heffernan has been very aggressive here in the last minute or two. He has been. And Heffernan has just been able to shut him off on all the offense. And, and I'm sure that uh, that's frustrating a little bit. His, his penetration hasn't been in. It's been sideways. When he came in, Heffernan has been able to block his motion keep him from coming and then come right back through him. Six to three, Scove came in on the leg, couldn't quite bring his hips in with him far enough to do it. Both look a little tired to me. I think that anybody would tire. These guys have gone at a fast tempo. I've said that before in the show, you, gotta, you have to do this once or twice in your life or even 30 seconds to a minute to realize just how, how much fatigue and how quickly it sets in. Six to three. Nice. Nice counterattack right there by Hefferman. Scove made the offensive moves. Hefferman came right back to him. So there, his shots are just a little too far away, and he's able to shut him off. Now there's a deep penetrating shot with a high crash. But it's out of bounds. I'll tell you, Dan Gable is really prowling the sidelines tonight. He's up on his feet going back and forth. He looks like he's wrestling himself. See him? That's where he's been all night. Up, up, up. 
Heffernan leading by three. Injury timeout called by Sko. I'm not too sure what happened to him, but it looks like he's uh, looks like he's uh, sick. Well, oh yeah, he's very. Almost... Uh, he's hanging on to the referee yeah. to keep from falling over, like he's about ready to pass out. He's got glassy eyes. Oh, that's peculiar. He's almost like he's almost out on his feet. Well, I don't know what happened. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, he's uh, apparently not feeling well. And the trainer's out working on him. This happened here in the third period with a score of six to three and 21 seconds to go in the match. Now the uh, Iowa trainer's coming out. See the relative NCAA finishes of these two teams, Iowa in the last five years. Uno the whole time. Oklahoma State, close. One of the reasons why they've made this change, they want to get that one over on that side under the cowboy hat. While we have this break, I want to tell you that last year, Iowa Public Television presented six programs called Angling Iowa, host Rick Geisler. And they were very popular with viewers. And so this year, in addition to the original six programs, you can enjoy another seven. That includes such things as winter fishing, fishing in a farm pond, musky fishing at Spirit Lake, other new and exciting adventures. So join Rick Geisler on Fridays at 8.30 for a new season of Angling Iowa. The programs will be repeated on Saturday mornings at uh, 10.30. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, Scove just suddenly seemed to lose control of himself as if he didn't know as if he blacked out or yeah, something. That's right. It, it didn't look like there was any blow there. But it looked like uh, all of a sudden he just didn't have his faculties. Well, he has uh, 20 seconds to go. And he's going to finish it. He trails by three. And he's going to give it a good 20 seconds. It's not enough because really Heffernan just out wrestled him totally in this match. Scopes had no takedowns. Uh, Heffernan's had two. And there it is. Strong performance by Jim Heffernan. No riding time advantage. You see, Skull can, can't even get up. I'm not sure uh, what the problem is, but he's... not sure he knows where he is. No, it's really, he's really exhausted it, or... Uh, man, I don't know. Seven to three is the score, and Luke Skull is being helped off the mat here. Six to three, Heffernan over Skull at 150. And we've come to intermission with the score, Iowa 20, and who would have believed it? The Cowboys three. There are Greg, Greg Randall's parents. Yes. Iowa 20, Oklahoma State.